Good morning. It's been almost two weeks since I've been out antique mauling. I know. It doesn't seem like that to you guys, but that's the truth. Um, I've been a little under the weather, a little discouraged, and quite frankly, there hasn't been much out there. Uh, I did get really lucky the last time I went out to Lewisburg, but here's the thing. Normally, I would have gone out last Wednesday, but like sales have been kind of down, honestly. So everything's been kind of quiet. The antique malls that I've been going to, um, with a few exceptions, have been more like the same stuff that have been here, been there in like the past visits and the prices are getting higher and everything's just been kind of like, ah! So I gave it a rest, but today I'm back and I am starting in Hummelstown again because they open earlier than everyone else, honestly. And I'm gonna make my way around. I have a laundry list of places I'd like to go today. So hopefully I find some good stuff. However, I'm gonna be super picky considering that sales have been down. Um, I'm not gonna just like buy anything I think I can make profit off of. I'm only gonna buy things that I'm really excited to sell. So let's get in there and see what they got. I'm so blown. There's not a matching one to this. This lustra wear with the flamingo. So fun. Oh my gosh, look at this crazy looking clown. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but I kind of like it. And yeah, I see the eggnog Tom and Jerry mugs, but you know what? I've had them a lot and it's very far from Christmas. I don't know. They're just not that exciting to me, honestly. I've only bought and sold them a couple times. Um, they did go pretty quick. Look at this freaky looking lamb thing. What in the world? That is so freaky looking. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, I was talking about the Tom and Jerry mugs. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave those. Mm. Getting distracted. Well, look at this. This is, oh, dang, it's got a crack in it. I was gonna say, $6 for this is too good to be true. Um, the salt and pepper shakers are worth more than $6 alone, but uh, I don't wanna mess with it. It's got the crack, but this is very neat. A potty pail, <laughs> ew. <laughs> Wait, what's happening over here? Look at this freaky hobbyist piece. I remember this booth as being a little bit on the pricier side, but I couldn't help but notice these uh, perfume bottles. $50, those are really cool with the hands on them. What is going on here? <laughs> I'm a little thrown, ooh! Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. That is really different. Not sure how to feel about that. I will say, I wish it wasn't clear. I feel like that's what's throwing me off the most about it. It's really different. Is this material made in Hong Kong. Looks like Wedgwood, except it's like plastic. I am still so in love with this vase. I don't even think I'd want to sell it if I bought it, honestly. Uh. It's still $28 though. I can't justify doing that today. I've done enough for myself, trust me. Ooh, this booth has uh, restocked. You know, <clears throat> I the first time I came here to this booth, it was full of stuff I like and I have not seen anything since, unfortunately. I think it was just a fluke. I got really lucky with a bunch of stuffed animals in here. Now it's just like Boyd's Bears and Beanie Babies pretty much. Yeah, there's a lot of different stuff that wasn't here before. I don't even think this booth was here before. Love all the little rosaries. Um, also notice another one of these pearlized birds. $7.25 though, that's a little bit on the pricier side compared to what I've been picking those up at. This brass basket with pineapples. That's kind of fun. Hmm. I like the pineapple motif. I like that teapot too, but even at 
15 yeah that's probably about what i'd sell that for oh my gosh look at this how cute please don't be broken ten dollars it is not wow it's got a really spectacular face i'm just like triple checking it's not broken because um i'd be pretty upset if i picked that up for 10 bucks and i got it home and i was like oh how did i not notice yeah it looks good um i don't see any other discount but it's so cute oh, do you think i can justify spending ten dollars on that what is this owl oh it's like a uh um a, knit, a sewing card there you go no <laughs> hmm. how much would i sell this for though i would sell this for 17 probably and then minus six percent seven percent really <sighs> i just don't think i can justify that plus it's only my first stop of the day don't get too upset i'm just trying to be as smart about this as i can and like look at this little super cute little bunny rabbit but that one's 10 i definitely can't justify that that's about what i'd get for that after fees yes it's only the first stop of the day oh my gosh those dried flowers are beautiful all right let me not get distracted here move on ashrays this one's kind of different 22 can't do anything with that yeah they're all 22 this one's probably my favorite that one's really funky oh look at these little children's hangers those are so sweet with the embroidery in the middle these ones um are reprints that's really cute i don't normally go in here but i was really <laughs> what how funny bear with that is a very unique bear but there's two of them so it's actually not that unique that's weird hmm Ah, love the stool. That's the best color. 42. All right, I can, I can feel good about that. I have spent an immense amount of time in here today. Oh, I like this trivet, but that is uh, not something I'd like to ship. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I spent this much time in here. It's kind of nice not rushing around, though. Ooh. This I really like. Butterfly trinket dish. Is there a discount in this booth? Uh, 20%. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. That's like $6.50. That is really unique. Gosh, I just can't stop noticing stuff. <laughs> the elephant. 11, not bad. I've had this lamb before. This cow. Hello there. $7. And 20%. He's really quite unusual isn't he i think i'm gonna have to pick that up too just because it'll be great for spring um what is this magnificent vase oh my gosh please stop five dollars i'm obsessed with this thing what is this does that say dresden no because it's japan Pioneer. Pioneer. Wow, that is absolutely spectacular. I love everything about this. I'm definitely going to go ahead and pick that up, especially at $5. What a deal. I can't lie. I've already found a lot more than I thought I would. Um, but that's okay. This is very cool. That's, I mean, that's the point, I guess, to find things. And I found different stuff. I like this ashtray. I've had stuff like that before. I found different stuff and I'm really just trying to switch it up, you know? I mean, it's been, it's been weird out there and I've been weird, honestly. I've had so much change between moving and, oh, look at the caskets. Oh my gosh, $8, stop, no way. Does it have its lining? It's got the top lining. What about this one? $8, oh, this is really hard to let go. This one's got the blue lining, that's so pretty. They're all going to be $8, aren't they? Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at the miniature one. The miniature ones are my favorite. Now, $4 for the mini, especially with the blue lining. I'm taking that. That's not to be ignored. Yeah, I've uh, moved to a completely different lifestyle change. Um, pace, and oh, this is so fun, too. And I've quit nicotine. I've done so many things. 
I've been on nicotine since I was uh, in my teenage days, I'm not gonna lie. So 23 years, I just kicked the bucket and it's affecting my business because I've been all over the place. Um, so that's a, that's a personal note there. Let me turn my camera off and figure out what else I wanna pick up in this booth. This is very cool. Um, yeah. This is nice, it's new, but it's only $18, that's crazy. All right, I'm gonna turn my camera off and kinda poop, uh, pop around, poop around, pop around. <laughs> so, here's the deal. I'd like to pick up all of them in a perfect world, but they've been slow on the sale, so I am going to leave them, as painful as that is. And as for this planter, I've had it before in all teal, and it's sold for $20. This one's 10, it's not a bad price, but I'm really trying to, um, this is very cool. It's new, it's only $3 though. I kinda like it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very attracted to it. But it's new, and I don't know much about its uh, origin, so I'm gonna let it go. I'm walking away. I know it's crazy. What about this vase? I didn't look at this vase, actually. 15. That's a really good price. It looks like, uh, huh. Well, it's not what I thought it was, actually. But I have to let it go because yesterday I actually had a historic thing happen. I had a $0 day online. It's only happened, I think that was the fourth time ever since I started my Etsy shop. So, um... Just trying to remember that going forward. Oh, but alas, wow, this is like one of my favorite things ever. I almost got one of these for my stepmom. I think these are so fun. These uh, old 1940s peanut planters, $7 is insanely cheap for this. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick that up. Now I'm also really into this vase. Looks a little bit on the newer side but I'm not sure. It's got a little age to it, maybe. Hmm. Mm. Is it metal? It's only $4. It's kind of cool. You know what? Why not? I'm gonna pick that up. It's different, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be different. And then you got the Hazel Atlas Strawberries Lennox frame. It's kind of cool, even though I'm not a Lennox person, haha. -ha. And then here's another one of those fish. I like the one I got better. What is going on with the lambs? Just a bunch of lamb rattles, so cute. Unfortunately at $20, I cannot do anything with that for resale. This booth always has such fun stuff. Love their magnet wall. I like everything that's going on over here. The little, uh, that looks like a trinket box top, actually. Uh, the Remember Me little mug, $5. Cat tiles, fun. What is happening here? Vintage Brass Owl Sewing Kit. Oh, I thought it said $8 at first. It says 48. Dang, that thing is neat. I'm also strangely into these the miniature teapots. Russ. Oh, I feel like I had those actually as like a kid, right? What's the age on that? Interesting. I feel like I've seen that before in a past life. Kind of like this too. It's only a dollar. I wonder how well that would sell. It's kind of sweet. Man, I really like the variation I've picked up today so far. Pretty pleased with myself. Might as well, why not? It's only a buck. And then they have this one with the windmill on it. That one's 16, just kidding. This is quite pretty too. Kind of reminds me of like Gustav Klimt almost. It's just a saucer though. I don't think that has much resale value for me. I'm also really into the children's lustro wear, uh, lustro, <laughs> luster, excuse me, uh, luster wear tea set, but I've 
bought one of these before um, and had a different pattern on it. It didn't sell well, it took a long time. This one's $5 and it says as is, so I don't really wanna mess with that. Also can't help but notice this little heart face. This looks on the newer side. Yeah, definitely newer. I have spent an insane amount of time here. I am just now making it up to the third floor. I've been here for over an hour. I'm kind of like <laughs> ready to move on. I kind of spaced out hard. Look at these. How funny are those? They're definitely new though. Whoa, look at this. It's a Hager elephant. That is very cool. I like that. 10 bucks. Not sure how much room that has. Might look it up just to be on the safe side, but I don't think it's enough for me to get excited about. So they actually sell for more than I thought they would. The last one sold for about 30, and there's ones that are listed for more than that. I'm kind of tempted to get it just because it's different. But I've already spent so much. I mean, I'm, I've spent six, $76 and I was gonna keep it up 50 or under here, but you know how I get. Let me let me finish the upstairs and see if I'm still thinking about it. Of course, I have yet to go to that mid-century booth I always get in trouble at. Mm -hmm.